what's up guys welcome to a uh, a quick video i guess today we are doing something with my very first computer yeah that's right this old pentium one is actually the very first computer i ever got and today we are putting a ssd in it i was doing some aliexpress shopping and i saw they had really cheap compact flash cards so i got one eight gigabytes which is perfect for DOS based systems like this although I might be putting Windows 95 on here I don't know I haven't decided yet it was running Windows 3.1 before but like I don't know it might be nice to have Windows 95 on here anyway we're going to be installing that compact flash card into this thing this is a cheap compact flash to IDE adapter we got the the ribbon cable for it right here so you just kind of plug it in like this. Yep. And I've decided we're going to put it in this slot. I want to put it in here, but there's like a cache card behind the uh, the video card. So that makes that kind of impractical. So, yeah. We will just take this and get it in there. I that feels like it's in there. I probably messed it. Yeah, I messed it up. Okay, hang on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Lined up now. So we get the... The screwdriver. Just like this. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hate you're trying to work on computers and film them on occasion. So you screw this in. Just like that. Now it is in. And we also need one of these. This is a Molex to a uh, three and a half inch floppy power adapter. So that just kind of, I believe it goes in like this. I don't actually, is it going like this or the other way? No, it goes in the other way like this. Holy sh- Holy shit, am I breaking something? Nope, that just really did not want to go in. Okay, so then, obviously we have power cable, so you just plug that in like this. Come on. And there we go. So now we can take our compact flash card out of its little protective thing. Here it is. And we can just put it in the back like this. Maybe. That's not how it goes. There we go. There. And now we have a SSD in this computer. So I'll get it plugged in and we'll be back. Welcome back. Let me grab the iPhone charger because this thing's probably going to die. Anyway, so I've plugged the computer back in. As you can see, when I hit the button, it will start posting. As, oops, I hit the tripod. As shown here, there it is. It's a, it reports as a sand disk. Despite the fact it is uh, just a generic no-name card, that's cool. But it'll say that there's no operating system. So, I have this. This is everything I need to reinstall DOS and uh, Windows 3.1. So we could just put the first disk in. Let me see, does this have keyboard? Oh, I already have feet extended. As you can see, starting DOS. I don't know if you can hear the floppy drive, but it's going. It is going. Okay. Enter. Uh, configure. Or no, we're going to exit setup. And uh, we are going to F disk. And display. We have 8 gigabytes. So we'll make a primary... No space to create a DOS partition. What? Oh, wait. Delete. I know what the problem is. So, delete non-DOS partition. Yes. 
then one one yeah we'll make this a partition and now we have to restart the computer as you can see 49 megabytes of ram not that bad for a dos machine although i swear i used to have more in here like 70 something megabytes but oh well it's not that big of a deal 50 megs is still a lot of memory for a dos machine uh, i'm gonna see if i can't get a better camera angle on this come on focus maybe move it down a little bit more yeah there we go that'll do please wait setup is checking your system configuration we're also going to make the rest of the partitions right now so we can go back into f disk we want to create an extended dos partition that's the maximum size and then we can just make drive 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 all right there so then it will have to reboot again which is cool and now we can install dos 622 although like i said i might be putting uh windows 95 on here at some point we'll see what happens so formatting our our primary dos partition and now it has to, now it wants to format the rest of our partitions, which I will let it do. Alright, so all that information is correct. We want to install to C slash DOS. And then this is going to install, so I'll just let it install, I guess. And uh, we'll be back once it's done installing that or I'll yeah I'm gonna cut the tape so yeah we'll be back good old switching discs here's disc one disc two just put it in and then you press enter and that's about it all right DOS is finished installing it wants us to take the disc out here's that now we can press enter and press enter again and then hopefully this should boot. Hard disk zero install installed. I don't know why this says it's a sand disk. What? The camera froze. Please don't tell me this freaking thing's gonna No, we're good. Thank god. And it's booting. Yeah, I've been having some trouble with the iPhone 5S recently, so sometimes I get a little paranoid that it's like gonna not work or something. And there we go. DOS is installed. Ver. MS DOS 6.22. And we have 2 gigs. Dur. There's nothing here. E. Dur. Nothing here. Uh, F. Dur. Nothing here. So we have all of our disks. So I guess the next thing to do would be install Windows. So uh, I'm going to go do that right now. I have all the disks for Windows 3.1 right here so I have to shuffle some disks around take off the little rubber band oh oops I grabbed an extra disk by accident get out of here buddy you're not Windows okay I just install Windows switch to A Setup. It's actually Windows for work groups, but it's still the same concept. Yep, that's good. Alright, this is gonna take a moment. I'll probably speed up the footage or something. Like 600%. Because that's a thing you could do in KDE and live. It's pretty cool in my opinion.
All right, as you can see, we are on the Windows 3.1 screen. Program Manager. We have that much Kilobyte 3. We can open here. You can see we have C, D, E, and F. I don't know if that's exactly totals to uh, 8 gigabytes, but either way, it's more storage than I had before. That's really all I wanted to show, just a quick video of installing an SSD in my first computer and then putting an operating system back on it. So I'll see you guys later with hopefully uh, better, longer, and more substantial videos.